जवि जय गोपी जन बलभम गिरिवर धारी जय गोपी जन बलभ गिरिवर धारी ये गोपी जन बलभ गिरिवर धारी सदानंदन भ्रज जन रंजन यशोदन भ्रज जन रंजन चोदनंदन भ्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर वन चारी मुना तीर वन चारी तीरवन जय राम जवी जय राधव जबी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा गिरिधरी राधा गिरिधर चे जय राधा गिरिधरी राधा गिरिधरी रे जय राधा माधव राधा माधव रे जय राधा माधव राधा माधव रे जय राधा गोविंद राधा गोविंद रे जय राधा गोविंद राधा गोविंद रे जय राधे जय राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय जगन्ना जय जगन्ना जय बलदेव जय सुभद्र जय जगन्ना जय जगन्ना जय बलदेव जय सुभद्र निता गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निता गौरा हरि बोल नेता गौरा हरि बो हरि बो हरि बोल नेता गौरा हरि बो जय जय प्रभु पान प्रभु पान प्रभु पाद जय जय प्रभु पाद जय जय 
Prabhu Pad, Prabhu Prabhu Pad, Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pad, Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Dev Jaya Jaya, Guru Dev Jaya Jaya, Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya, Guru Dev. Shri Radha Girdhari Ki Jai Shri Baladev Jipra Jagannath Shri Baladev Jipra Jagannath Bhagavan Ki Jai Shri Gaur Nitaai Ki Jai Shila Prabhupad Ki Jai Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jai Mudiryet Shruvantim Swakatha Krishna Punya Sarvanam Kirtanam Hirdayatanta Haisto Abhadrani Viduno Teshutisatam Nashta Prayasu Abhadresu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttam Sloke Bhaktir Bhauti Nastiki Before reciting this Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances unto the personality of God in Narayan, unto Naranarayan Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Madha Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and unto Srila Vyasdu, the author of Srimad Bhagavatam. Sri Krishna, the personality of Godhead, who is the Paramatma in everyone's heart, and the benefactor of the truthful devotee cleanses desire for material enjoyment from the heart of the devotee who has developed the age to hear his message, which are in themselves virtuous when properly heard and chanted. By regular attendance in classes on Srimad Bhagavatam and by rendering service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed and loving service unto the personality of God, who is praised with transcendental songs established as an irrevocable galpe. Reading from Hare Krishna, everybody, Manchakal Patru Vesta Kirpas in Dubayo, Chapatita, and Pavan Vaishnavi. Reading from Srila Prabhupada, Lila Mane. Uh, let me. Yeah. Chuck, I finally found Second Avenue and the First Street, and I saw through the window that there was some chanting going on inside, and some people were sitting up against the wall. Beside me on the sidewalk, some middle class people were looking in, in and giggling. I turned to them, and with my palms folded, I asked, is this where a Swami is? They giggled and said, Pilgrim, your search has ended. I wasn't surprised by this answer because I felt it was the truth. Bruce and Chuck, unknown to one another, lived only two blocks apart. Apart from after the suggestion from his friend, Bruce also made his way to the storefront. Bruce says, I was looking for Hare Krishna. I had left my apartment, had walked over to Avenue B when I decided to walk all the way down to Houston Street. When I came to First Street, I turned right and then walking along the First Street came to the Second Avenue. All along First Street, I was seeing this Puerto Rican grocery stores. And then there was one of those churches where everyone was standing up, singing loudly and playing tambourines. Then as I walked further along First Street, I had the feeling that I was leaving the world like when you are going to the airport to catch a plane. 
I thought now I'm leaving a part of my behind and I'm going to somewhere new. Any more? Okay. Let me that uh, let me find the text. Today's reading is Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, the creation of the fourth order, chapter 25, the descriptions of the characteristics of King. Puranjan and today's text is text 47. Kadha tavimir mukhe cha praga dwara ekatra nirmite vibrajitam janapadam yati tabhyam dhuyam tatasakam Adhata vir mukhe cha praga dwaro yektra nirmite vibrajitam janapadam yati tata yati tabhyam duyam matasaka. Anybody, please? Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam, I am trying. Dandavat Pranam, I Khadayata Vimari Mukhi Cha Prag Dwara Ekatra Nirimite Vibhrajitam Janapadam Yati Tabhyam Tabhyam Dhumat Sakaha Hare Krishna. Thank you. Can I ask Prabhuji? Yeah, Prabhu. Adiota viram ukhi cha priyag vara ek ekatra nirmiti vibrajitam janapadam yati tabhyam yutmat sakaha. Thank you. Adiota viram ukhi cha priyag. Dwara ekatra nirmite vibrajitam jana padam yati tabhyam tabhyam dhumat sakaha. Hare Krishna Prabhu, thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Anybody else, please come forward and read. Where are you? More than just three of us. I can I can read it. Yes, Mataji. Please. Tajata Vimuki Chaprag Waras Ektra Nimiti Vibrajitam Janapadam Yati Tabiam Jumatsakaha. What yes, please? What happened? Oh, this. Okay. Synonyms, translation, and purport by His Divine Grace. I see Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Prabhupada, Sila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Khadyota of the name Khadyota. Avir Mukhi of the name Avir Mukhi. Cha also. Prag toward the eastern side. Dwaro, two gates. Ektra, in one place. Nirimite, were constructed. Vibrajitam, of the name Vibrajita. Janapada, Janpadam, city. 
jati used to go tabhyam by them dhumat of the name dhum dhuman sakha with his friend translation the two gates named khadyota and avirmukhi were situated facing the eastern side but they were constructed in one place though those two gates the through those two gates the king used to go to the city of vibharjita accompanied by a friend whose name was dhuman papaj bhai ji bhai ingle saisi bhakti ban vedanta swami sila prabhupad the two names kayodata and avirmukhi means glow worm and torch light this indic indicates that of the two eyes the left eye is less powerful in its ability to see although both eyes are constructed in one place one is stronger than the other in the power to see the king or the living entity uses these to gaze to see things properly but he cannot see unless accompanied by a friend whose name is dhuman this friend is the sun although the two eyes are situated in one place they have no power to see without the sunlight vibharjitam janapadam if one wants to see something very clearly vibharjitam he must see it with two eyes and the assistance of his friend the sunlight within this body everyone is a king because he uses his different gates according to his own will although he is very much proud of his power to see or hear he is nonetheless dependent on the assistance of nature here continuing with the story is that we are reading about puranjana the life of puranjana and puranjana puranjana is depicting the human beings the living entity and and the city is the human body tracking back to where i had left before uh, let me say the pranam mantra om gyana timirandasya agyananjana salakaya chakshuram nitam yena tasmay sri guruve namaha sri chaitanya mano vishtam sthapitam yena bhutale swayam rupa kadamayam dadati swapadantikam vande ham sri guru sri utpad kamalam sri guru vaishnavam cha श्री रूप सागर जात सागन रघुनाथ मिता सजीव सद्वैत साधुत परीजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सागना ललिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्ते जय तम सुरत पंगोर मम मन मतेरगति मत सर्वसपद भोज राधा मदन मोहन वाचकलो भोरी तप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदा विनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचकलो भयश्चा कृपा सिंधु भय चा पतीतना पावन भयो वैष्णव्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जस्ट क्विकली रिकेपिंग दी बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज we are talking about we started the uh prachini bhari satya the king who comes in the lineage of dhru maharaj his sons went to 
perform austerities to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And they were guided by Lord Shiva. And the whole chapter of the prayer Lord Shiva taught them. While these sons were performing austerities in war time, the king was performing animal, many animal sacrifices. And one day Narad Muni, Muni came in and asked him what he was expecting to achieve by sacred killing innocent animals. And he, and he showed them where the animals were in the sky waiting for the king to die so that they can take revenge. And so the king, is interesting, um, reply the king is giving, na janami mahabhavat param karma pavidha dihi bruvi me vimalam jnanam yena mucha ye karma bhi. O oh, great soul, Narad, my intelligence is entangled in fruitive activities. Therefore, I do not know the ultimate goal of life. Kindly instruct me in pure knowledge so that I can get out of this entanglement of fruity activities. That's in the fifth sloka of this chapter. And then in this next sloka, the King is saying, Grehesu Putta Dharmeshu Putra Dhara Dhanarta Dihi Na Param Vindate Muro Brahmanya Sam Sara Vartamasu. Those who are interested only in a so called beautiful life, namely remaining as a householder, entangled by sons and a wife, and searching after wealth. Think that such things are life's ultimate goal. Such people simply wander in different types of bodies throughout this material existence without finding out the ultimate goal of life. Every living entity is Puranjana. Here Narad Rishi is telling the king about the story of Puranjana, but he is actually telling the story of human beings. And uh, the Puran means within this body and just with, within this form. And Jana means living entity, living entity within this body. Thus, everyone is Puran Jana. Every living entity is supposed to be the king of the, his body because the living entity is given full freedom to use his body as he likes. He usually, usually engages his body for sense gratification. Because one who is in the body, bodily conception of life feels that the ultimate goal of life is to save the senses. Human beings are unlimited. Human beings have, we have unlimited desires for sense enjoyment. Material sense gratification is compared to a drop of water falling on a desert. This is Prabhupada's, part of Prabhupada's purpose for the, uh, in the chapter, he is comparing the human, uh, the material gratif gratification is compared to a drop of water in the desert. A desert requires ocean of water, not a drop of water to satisfy it. So if a drop of water is usually what you see is similarly the material sense gratification is like a desert it can never be satisfied when the living entity moves from one body to another we may find some pleasure in different forms but we can never truly be satisfied in any material body the spiritual spark within us covered by material desires cannot find true happiness in the physical world. Just like how a deer may be lured by music and lose its life to a hunter or a fish may be tempted by bait and lose its life to a fisherman or even an elephant may lose its freedom, freedom by satisfying his sex, sexual desires. 
in every form of life, we have different bodies to fulfill our desire senses, but we can never satisfy all our desires at once. In the human form, we have the opportunity to indulge in our senses, but this only leads to more frustration and entanglement. The more we seek sense and gratification, the more trapped we become. The chief aim of human life is to get rid of all miseries and enjoy happiness. But these two things cannot be realized by fruitive activity. Aim of human life is get rid of all miseries, number one. Number two, to enjoy happiness. But Prabhupada wants us that is not available in fruitive activities. Puranjana's friend is Avijana, Vavigyata. And that's this. Supaso, the Paramatma. King Puranjana had unlimited desires for sense enjoyment. And he meets a woman who has ten servants with her. And each seven had hundreds of wives and uh, accompanying him which are our senses and is protected on all sides by five hooded snake. And the girls, remember the girls said, I do not know who has begotten me, nor do I know the names of the origin of the, of the associates with me. All the associates with her, she doesn't know. So, Similarly, it's depicting us, the living entity is ignorant of his origin. He does not know why this material world was created and why others are working in this material world and what the ultimate source of manifestation is. We do not know where we have come from, why we are here struggling so hard for existence. And where will we go? The girl is expressing the actual position of living entity. She cannot tell Puranjan his father's name because she does not know from where she has come, nor does she know why she is present in that place. In text 34, um, earlier it says, Yadhya Santam. Atmanam vidham na tata param yene nam nirmita vira vira puri saranam atmana atmanaya. We only know that we are existing in this place. We do not know what will come after. Indeed, we are so foolish that we do not care to understand who has created this beautiful place for our existence. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Kento 5, text, uh, chapter 5, text 5, we are called Prabhava Satvad Abhodha Jata. Prabhava Satvad Abhodha Jata, which means everyone is born ignorant. The girl's 11 friends depict the active senses and the mind of the of human beings. And the snake is the vital force of the living being. This vital force always remains awake, even when the body and the senses become torn and do not work, tired and do not work. Well, you, this vital force is working even we are sleeping. Remember when we sleep, we sort of unconscious when we are in deep sleep. The snake or the life force it still remains intact, intact and awake. If the life force stops working, then Ramnam Satya remains active. The life force remains active and alive to protect the body. Thus the snake is described as living and eating air to keep the body fit for their lives. We don't feed that life force, we feed ourselves, our 
tummy, but not the life force, that the actual force that keeps us going. King Puranjana represents the ordinary living entity, and the woman represents the ordinary living entity's intelligence. Combine the living entity enjoys this material senses, and the intelligence supplies all for Epanana for his enjoyment. As soon as he enters the human form, the living entity is entrapped by a family tradition, nationality, customs, etc. These are all supplied by the Maya of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Maya is the Prakriti or the nature. Thus, the living entity, under the bodily conception of life, utilizes his intelligence to his best capacity in order to satisfy his senses. The two names, Kadhyote and Avirmukhi, see how intelligently our eyes are described. You can, if the one is global, as good now, we can't see anything with the help of glowworm. You can only see the glowworm glowing, but it's not of any use to us. But in torchlight, I never realized this, that left eye is weaker than the right one. I thought my left eye is weak because of cataract. This is, we are born with that. The one side is weak and the other side, the other one is um, stronger. The living entity uses these two gates to see things properly, but he cannot see unless accompanied by a friend whose name is Duman. This friend is the son. The see, we, not just the eyes, but everything we think we are. We have the freedom, we are independent, we can do whatever we like, but we are totally dependent on external forces. When the Lord created us, the, all our senses are, are control, controlled by demigods who are also just like living and it is, but I am powered with better control and <clears throat> better power. The control living entity is called Adhyatmic and, and the controller is Ad, called Adi Devik. That's, uh, and I was saying that our senses are all controlled by demigods when the Lord created us. He gave put Brahma in, in charge of our intelligence. Eyes, we already know, sun is in charge of that. Tongue is Varun. Nose, Ashwini Kumar. Speech is Agni. Hands are controlled by Indra. Legs by Upendra. Upendra, the assistant of Indra. Our Anas is Yamaraj. Genitals, Prajapati, mind is moon. And our ego, is Lord Shiva is in charge of the death. But the Lord himself has put has himself in the driver's seat as Paramatma. Not that in uh, chapter 15, Hamavaisvanaro Bhutva Prani Nam Deham Ashita. He, through him, we are breathing. Yeah, and, and whatever food we digest or eat and drink is digested by the Supreme Personality of God. See how incapacitated we are. We, Though we think that we feel we, we are doing it, but it's actually us done by other powers, the demigods and the Lord himself, the Lord 
is in the main position, is in charge of the main thing. I, I could not get the reference, or could not find the reference for these demigods. I had it from a long time before, could not find where I'd written it down, but I here, think it's either from Brahma Vaivar Puran or Brahman Puran, other of the two, or could be anywhere. I forgot and lost the reference, the my note. It's not lost, actually, I couldn't find it. Okay, going back to Canto 2, Chapter 10, Text 8. Yeah, low in, in Canto 2 is describing the. Uh, University. Yo adhyatmika yama purusha so is swaha evad sa seva yo adhu daivika yatra bhayo vichedha purusha hai adi bhautika. The individual person possessing different instruments of senses is called the adhyatmic person. And the individual controlling deities of the senses is called Adi Devik. The embodiment seen on the eyeballs is called Adi Bhautik. In purpose, Prabhupada writes the supreme controlling Sumam Bhunam is the personality of Godhead in his plenary portion as Paramatma or Super Soul manifestation. In Bhagavad Gita, text 10, or oh, sorry, so chapter 10, text 42, it is said, Atva bhaunaitam kim vijja jnanate tva arjuna vistam bhayam idam kritishnam ekam sena stito jagata. Translation, all controlling deities Vishnu, Brahma, and Shiva are different manifestations of the Paramatma feature of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, who exhibits himself in such manners by entering into each and every universe generated from him. But still, apparently, there are divisions and of the controller and control. Each and every individual in the material world is controlled by the higher demigods. For example, we have our senses, as I mentioned earlier, but the senses are controlled by superior controlling entities. This is Srila Prabhupada explaining in Canto 2, uh, when Sumam Bhunam is described. We cannot see without light, and the supreme control of light is the sun. And in um, chapter 8, Lord describes, is it 7 or 8, describes the Prasoham Apse Kunte Aprabhavasmi Sasi Surya the, so the sun god is in the is in the sun planet and we the individual human beings or any other being on this earth are all controlled by the sun god as far as our eyes are concerned and the other uh, organs are concerned by uh, controlled by other demigods like the sun is eyes is sun tongue is baru nose then not just that the, all the other organs are uh, controlled by different personalities. Yes. And those who are into astrology, you know, the yes, players also, are also controlling us. Yes, somebody is trying to say something. And your yeah, nose is Ashwani Kumar, his speech is Agni. Hands, Indra, legs, Upendra, and so forth. And the, the nine planets also control our bodies. So going back with the textbook.
कद्योत्याभी हृमुखा चापराग द्वार द्वार एकत्र निर्मित है विभ्राजित जनपदम याति ताभ्याम दुय मत सखा द टू गेट्स नाइम कादयत एन अवीर मुखी वे सिचुएटेड फेसिंग द ईस्टर्न साइड बट दे वे कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन वन प्लेस थ्रू दोस टू गेट्स द किंग यूज टू गो टू द सिटी ऑफ विभर्जित accompanied by a friend whose name was the human so that's all i've got to anyone want to add something comments or if you have any questions please Hare Krishna people listening have been listening anybody they are or have gone away Hare Krishna we are here bro okay thank you <laughs> no response i thought everybody so stone then disappeared anyway any comments I want to add something Hare Krishna Prabhu ji Hare Dear Krishna Prabhu, Prabhu ji you Prabhu covered Bhai. a very very comprehensive uh, text by Prabhu Pad and we have learned quite a lessons from this which will help us in our lives thank you very much for the class thank you Prabhu I just read what Prabhu Pad has written the reminder we are we have no ability to do anything but we still think that we are the lord everything is controlled by external forces even the Prabhu, mind Prabhu, when you thinking yeah prabhu Prabhu ji that prabhu ji sorry hmm? that point you covered glow warm and torch light can you uh, elaborate on that prabhu ji yeah it's in the um, Purport. Sila Prabhupada is writing the, the purport of this sloka. They are at forty-seven. The two names. The left eye is called Avirmukhi, and the uh, uh, sorry, Kadoyata, and la, right eye is named Avirmukhi. Glowworm and torchlight. Okay, if you see, you know what glowworm is. we can't use glow home to see our way in the dark but we can use torchlight we can use so torchlight to see things so the they indicating that our left eye is weaker than right eye i this is what i found out today the prabhupada is saying that this indicates that of the two eyes the left eye is less powerful in its ability to see although both eyes are constructed in one place one is stronger than the other i, I don't know how strong is one or the other so but the prabhupada is saying is one is weaker than the other i uh, in some of the classes people have confessed that they they when they had eye test which uh, tested they found out that the weaker the left one was more weaker than the right so that's what it is did i explain properly yes yes Chakon all the time we visit white town with visit <laughs> we you go there white, and find out. <laughs> we we go to visit white town okay but I now I realize what is we don't achieve much by going and see the glow worms there. Sometimes you see the glow worms, but they are useless. You can't see the path. <laughs> glow worms. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Dhanwad Pranam. Dhanwad Prabhu. Dhanwad Pranam, Prabhu. Thank you very much for the nice class and uh, giving that overall uh, overview of the uh, human body and the various demigods who control. 
So in that sense, actually, we don't have too much independence. I was thinking, like everything not is so much, by... looks like Prabhu that we have nothing in control. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> everything is controlled by the demigods. Yeah. Yeah. Even see, I knew this uh, that the planetary systems have got some control, but if you look, uh, even the organs, mm. I. I read somewhere, I heard somewhere, even the, each organ has got some demigod in charge of it. I don't have any ev reference or evidence where I heard that. But uh, at least the main ones, it is um, here the uh, eyes are controlled by sun, moon controls the mind, and the intelligence is Brahma, uh, hands, um, Indra and legs. And then in uh, chapter 15, Lord Himself say, Hamavaishwanaro Bhutva Prani Nam Dehama Sita Prana Pan Samayukta Pachami. The breathing, the air that we breathe in out is controlled by the Supreme Personality Himself. And the food is digested by the Vaishwanaro, the fire in our stomach. There is nothing in. What we are proud of, what we think, we think that we yeah. are doing everything. Nothing is. So I was just wondering then why the living entity is called Prabhu. Then no? it said the Prabhu, the Lord of the body. Why is he uh, called? No, this is mainly with Vaishnavas. We address each other as Prabhu, not addressing the person. Is addressing the Paramatma in that person. Remember, we have got Paramatma in our body, in with us. So it's actually we're paying obeisances to the super soul in the body. We're not not the uh, person. Person is not called Prabhu. Is the is uh, is the personality there? Is that's what uh, we are addressing the person as the as the supreme personality resident there. Remember this. Uh, our body is called temple in a lot of places because the Lord resides in this body. So that's why it's called Prabhu, not the not the living entity is called Prabhu. The Prabhu is there in the living entity. So we are addressing the Supreme Personality when we call Prabhu. So that's why we said, in, 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 this is only in <coughs> Sanatan Dharma that even um, your enemy comes, you see your enemy, you still um, respect the personality. <coughs> and in a lot, uh, lot of lectures, some lectures I've had is that when you come across somebody that you uh, had differences with, you just show courtesy, not to the person, but remembering that the supreme person, the super soul is, is residing that person. So with that in mind, you can still show respect to somebody for even if you hate that person or dislike it. And remember, this is only possible in, in uh, Vaishnavism, Sanatan Dharma. The other religions don't have this sort of principles or philosophy. Anything else, Prabhu? Oh, thank you, thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam. Just Dandavat uh, my Prabhu. realization, like, you know, the friend, the eyes friend, the Duman. Without him, we cannot see, means sun. Without sun, we cannot see if we have two eyes, though we have two eyes. Same way, you know, that our, without spiritual master, we cannot enter into the spiritual world. That's why we tell, you know, Agananti Mirandhasya Gyananjana Salakaya. Just uh, I am completing, <laughs> contemplating this. So without spiritual master, we cannot also, uh, in we cannot enter in the spiritual world. And we do not realize anything without the help of spiritual masters. Just like sun uh, is helping to see with our two eyes. Thank you, Prabhu. Yeah, the main thing in this chapter is that with the Pranjan's story is that we are, 
the king of this body, we, we um, behave as we the king of this body, but here we are reminded that we have control of nothing. Mm -hmm. Everything is controlled by super beings. The uh, demigods are controlling all the senses. We, we, are, we are taking, claiming to be the owner of these things, but we have control of nothing. And uh, the spiritual master is, of course, when you get out of the body, when we, when we realize we are not in control of anything, then remember earlier I said the purpose of this human body is to realize, uh, get out of here, have, uh, get rid of all the miseries and get out of here. And once we realize we want to get out of here, then uh, how do we get out of it? Then we look for some guidance and the guidance comes from the spiritual master. The first thing is the very immediate thing. We have control of nothing. Going, achieving, going out of here is, is a different matter. We have control of nothing. Any other comments? Nice sure. discussion. Sure. Thank you. Hare Krishna. If no, there are no comments, we can close here. Thank you, Prabhu, for the nice class. One chakra for the revolution. 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 One chakra for the